What's up everyone? Only Murders in the Building Season 4 kicked off earlier this week and we took a look at all the clues that led towards Saz's death. But now it's time for us to take a look at the suspect list. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your Only Murders in the Building breakdown. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into who could be the killer. Or was Saz even killed? Because the theory floating around could be... Saz faked her own death. We're going to get to that eventually. But first of all, our first suspect of tonight is Bev Mellon. Which I would I think it'd be fun if we just continually changed her name from Mellon to another fruit. So Bev Grape is the first suspect. So she is the movie producer, of course, who invited the trio in and said, Come on, guys, we, we can't wait to get this movie made out for you. And she said, no matter what happens, this movie is going to work. Now, the initial thing to look at with Bev Apple is... Hopefully I can keep this up. The initial thing to look at with Bev Apple is the fact that she is somebody who, uh, she wants to get this movie made no matter what. Is that a motive? Potentially, because if another killer happens, that means another sequel for the movie. Now that feels very meta right now looking at that. And of course, Molly Shannon is somebody who's a very established actor. She's been on SNL and she can play psycho. She can do crazy. We know that. We've seen her perform that before. And I have no doubt that she can do this in Only Murders as well. But her motive so far is if the studio can get another sequel from another death, she is going to take that. She told them that no matter what happens, no matter the number, we are going to make this work. So is she is she determined enough to put another sequel out that she'd be willing to do? another like commit a death over it i think it's very very possible because money can drive anyone and bev mellon certainly is money crazy our next suspect is the writer of the movie it's marshall we were introduced to marshall in the premiere episode of season four of only murders in the building and we don't know a lot about him so far apart from he wrote the movie which means he knows the characters very well and he's had to do character studies on them which means he's probably spent a lot of time looking into Charles Oliver and Mabel and knowing everything that's going on there and he'll probably know Saz because guess what if you've done a deep dive on Charles if you probably don't have to look that far to find out who his stunt double is from back in the day so there you go folks Marshall is our second suspect do we think he did it I don't really see a motive yet but listen we've got nine episodes to go and um, more truth could come out as the season goes on but as of right now Marshall is the writer of the film which means he's got his hand in the he got a name as well just if we're going meta for a second as well if you've been given a name and you were introduced as a name then likelihood is you're in that melting pot of who could be the killer so marshall is definitely a suspect but does he have motive yet not yet but we're keeping an eye on him now it's time to take a leap see what i did there yeah some of my older viewers might get that one but it's time to take a leap and look at scott bacula now will this season become so meta that somebody who is playing themselves was the killer could it be eva longoria could it be scott bacula could it be zach gallifragilistic or could it be eugene levy personally i don't see that happening but it's possible anything's possible and to me i think scott bacula was just a fun cameo to have but Listen, we've seen him leap into many bodies over the years, playing, uh, I forgot his name, on Sam, Sam, that's it, Sam Beckett on, on Quantum Leap, but could he actually leap into the body of a killer on this one? I don't think that's the case, but hey, keep our eyes peeled for more Scott Bakula, but I don't think it's going to be the three either who are playing Charles Oliver and Mabel, I think that would be too much on them as people, as actors outside of the movie, to have their name labelled as the killer, it, it seems a little too much. But hey, stranger things have happened, and um, I'm not counting it out just yet. But, of course, they are on the suspect list. Lester the Doorman is somebody that we have known since season one of Only Murders in the Building. He seems like a nice, friendly old man, but is that all an act? We've got to look into that, because Lester called Charles up towards the end of the episode to say, Hey, Charles, I found that note that you left talking about getting the glass changed. And Charles went, I didn't leave any kind of note. That, that, that wasn't me. And... It, a few eyebrows were raised amongst the fandom as to maybe Lester had something to do with it. Maybe he's whether he's the killer or not, maybe he has a hand in something. Um, I personally, I'm, I'm going to rule Lester out. That is going to be my complete hard no for today. I will give one of those and say no. I don't think it's Lester. I may have to prepare to eat a big old slice of humble pie by the end of the season if Lester is the killer. But right now, I still see him as the nice old man who is... He's looking out for Charles. I don't really see what purpose that could have served him in his favour to call Charles and say that when he could have just done it subtly. 
you know? Because at that point, the trio didn't even realise that the bullet was in the window. I'd gone through the window, so... If Lester had just done that without calling Charles... Bada bing, bada boom. Case would never have been solved. So to me, Lester still continues to be a nice old man. But I am prepared to eat a humble slice of humble pie. <laughs> Trina and Tony brothers. Now, if you were to put a gun to my head right now, just like it was put to Saz's chest... Boom, tsh, um, too soon, Tom. Too soon. If somebody was to ask me who's the killer right now, I am looking at Trina. Why? Okay. We're going to break this down a little bit. I'm just going to pull up right now a clip from the trailer on the screen right now where the killer, or what we assume to be the killer, takes the gun out and is ready to shoot the shot across the Arconia. Now, to me, I don't know if anyone else, but to me, that looks a lot like Trina Brothers. Not, tr not Tawny, Trina. So to me right now, the only person who's been caught with a smoking gun so far is Trina. So that's the only person I can point the finger towards now. Do I think that Hulu and Only Murders are dumb enough to put the killer in the trailer doing the act? No, I don't think so. And if they are, they need to rehire the writing team. But I'm looking at that right now and seeing she's up to something. Whether she was the killer or not, or whether she, you know, is somebody who had something to do with it. She was... That's quite evidently her in that clip. She was caught with the gun, with her foot on the ledge, getting ready to snipe somebody across the way. And that, to me, is very, very, very suspicious. Now, it may be one of those plot twists where later in the season, she was caught trying to assassinate somebody who was trying to assassinate Charles. So then it's the old double cross. But as of right now, that's the footage we've got in the trailer of her with the smoking gun. I'm confident that that's her. Whether she was the killer or not, I am not sure. But there is something suspicious about her. She's very quirky, which I like, but she's very, very quirky. And it's the same with her sister slash brother as well. And I don't know. I've got eyes on her right now as somebody who is very suspect. Tawny, on the other hand, maybe it's something where we've got to dig deeper. And she actually was the killer. And that's going to cause some kind of rift between them two. And uh, But they, were, they seemed very, very, very quirky and strange. There's definitely a lot of mystery surrounding those two. And I'm sure we'll find out more as the season goes on. Some more faces in the trailer that we have yet to discover yet are seemingly residents of the West Tower of the Arconia. Somebody mentioned in my comment section on the last video, we haven't actually seen the West Arconia residence yet. Um, so it's very evident that Charles is in the east side, Charles Oliver and Mabel are in the east side. And we are going to be introduced to some of the wonderful residents on the west side and it seems like a couple of people in the trailer that are famous faces we know live over there there is going to be a character played by richard kind who immediately looks suspicious sticking his head out the door and kamal nanjiani is also there as well playing somebody and we can't we can't not look at them as suspects they are big actors they are famous faces that we know and love but are they going to be playing a lovable character because we're probably going to be introduced to those as the season goes on. Is there any reason to point suspicion towards them right now? In the show, no. On a meta level, it's two famous actors who have came along to play a role. So, potentially. I'm looking at them as a potential right now. But also, we've got Melissa McCarthy in the mix as well. It looks like she's playing Charles's sister. That would be a curveball. But also, why is Charles's sister all of a sudden in the show out of nowhere? Charles' sister is somebody who will definitely know Saz because Charles obviously was very close with Saz for the better part of 40 or 50 years. So we can definitely look at Melissa McCarthy as a suspect whether her motive is there or not yet. I am not quite sure, but she seems like a fun character. But of course, that's what the killer would want us to see. Somebody who is lovable, kind and affable. And we're looking at her right now and thinking, hey, it's Melissa McCarthy and not, oh my God, it's the killer. So again, Richard Kine and Kumail Nanjiani, we can look at them right now and go, hmm, we got to find out more. And same with Melissa McCarthy. But as for motive, we'll see as the weeks go on. That is all of your suspects for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching and we will continue as this season goes on to try and find out who killed Saz because, of course, there is the theory now that Saz faked her own death. Why would she do that? I have no clue, but he is the thing to me. I'm just going to... This is just a random thought of mine as of right now. I don't think Saz did that to herself because... Why would she... She could have just planted the ashes and, and the metal joint in the incinerator without having done all the being shot thing you know or she could have or she could have gone in there and placed some kind of thing that looked like blood on the oven handle like was there she didn't need to be 
faking a bullet shot in her chest to lie down on the floor. If she was going to fake her own death, just plant a little something on the oven handle, plant the ashes in a fake joint in the incinerator, bada bing, bada boom. I don't think that's the case, but it could be the case. It's, that's so exciting, isn't it? The fact that we have no clue, but I love speculating, and I would love to hear everybody else's thoughts in the comment section below, so let me know who you think is the killer down there, and I'm going to come back at the end of the season, and we'll see who got it right, and I'll give those people a shout out. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video today, please consider subscribing. I'll be doing Only Murders content every single week on the channel as the season continues, and I can't wait. Uh, and I can't wait to find out who's the killer and hopefully we can get to it before the show even does. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching everybody. I hope that you all have a pleasant day. And also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next Only Murders in the Building breakdown, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night!